Howdy folks and welcome back to the Alex Parker Road of the Show series here on the 22 PS5 episode 102. I just recorded the episode where we went and absolutely choked our whole season away. We got swept by Oakland, we lost a series to Houston 2-1, then we lost our play-in game. It doesn't get much worse than that. Not to mention an abysmal month of September in general. A lost series to Philadelphia, to Houston, to a sweep by Oakland, and then again to Houston, and then a loss in the play-in game. But this is our off-season episode. We are uh, going to sim, and I'm going to stop simulating, I guess. Because we have a lot to lick over here um, with Alex and stuff. All right, I'm going to cheer up a little bit. It's a new season. If I really do plan on playing this whole career, we're going to have a lot more seasons as we head into year four. Let's look a little bit into this, what happened in the standings. In the NL East, the Braves are the best team in baseball, period. 108 and 54. The Reds are actually going to edge out the Brewers for the division, yet the Brewers did gain a wild card spot with an 89-74 record. And the Dodgers won the West with the Giants taking the other one. We'll see who wins this game. Um... As we look at the postseason. The Rays win the East by two games. With the other two um, wildcard teams barely getting spots. Um, or not barely getting spots. They are 92-70 and 70 though. Um, so three teams from the East in the playoffs. The White Sox with Adam Turner go 92-70. and 70. Oh, by the way, Max is in the playoffs. Uh, and then Cam Jackson and the Royals go 69-93. Not their best year. The Athletics win the West, as we know. And we come short. Come up short big time. Wishing Chance Davis the best. But that's what happened this series, this season. Um, let's get into some of Alex's stats. This was a big deal. Uh, this was a huge year for him. Let's look into... Let's look at my ball player. This would be easier. He played all 163 games with 653 at-bats, finished with 193 hits, 31 doubles, 6 triples, and 59 home runs. The dude was on a rampage this year. I saw a comment that said, I think it's a fluke season. I agree. I don't think he'll ever do this again. 127 RBIs. We've got 80 walks on the season. I mean, that was a huge improvement was our walks. We stole 73 bags, like in, like insane on the bags. We hit 296 with a 372 on base percentage, a 632 slugging, and just over a 1,000 OPS. That was good for uh, 742 plate appearances. We had a steal percentage just over 80%. We had the most assists in the league with 439. But we also um, had six errors with a 998 fielding percentage. So not going to be a gold glove this year. So that's a failure on one of our goals. The other goal is to hit over 300, and we failed that too. But by no means for Alex was this a failure of a season. Uh, but an 11.0 war is insane. Alex Parker has proved to be the best shortstop in the MLB. Uh, going into his age 21 season. Sadly, we're not going to be getting much money next season. $770,000 um, is a lot of money. I would love to make that every year. I make, let me think. Hmm. It would take me a long time to make my U to put my YouTube earnings into uh, that. I, AKA, I would not live long enough for that. <laughs> uh, but that's where Alex is at stats wise 364 career hits 87 homers and 131 stolen bases a career average of 276 and an ops of 887 maybe the best player in baseball right now for our team um our pitching was interesting the whole year it was tough giolito is pretty good Syndergaard struggled again Patrick Sandoval was all right. Yarbrough had a good year. Desclafani a good year. Brad Keller was terrible. 
Well, next year we'll definitely have Tristan McKenzie <coughs> to come up and play with us. Reed Detmers hopefully gets better. There's a lot that needs to happen for this team. Adam Simber actually had a phenomenal year. 47 saves for us in a 234 ERA. Love to see that. Suarez, pretty good. Alvarado, okay. Aaron Loop, I never want to see you again. Amir Garrett, I never want to see you again. Uh, and we have no potential here. At the closing pitcher, he was not our closer. Simber was. But Iglesias had a 2-4-1 ERA in like 37 innings. I'll take that. That's pretty good. Jorge Alfaro didn't get to play much with us, but he wasn't great when he did. Uh, Austin Hedges wasn't great. And Victor Caratini wasn't great. So that's awesome. <laughs> Jared Walsh was. He had a really good year. He hit 262. Uh, 33 homers, not quite on his 43 last year, but we will take this from Jared Walsh. An 800 OPS, yeah, great year from our first baseman. He's at 142 career home runs and 614 hits. Not much potential at that position. Then we have David Fletcher, who I think we just need to get rid of, but we've got him for one more year. Uh, he hit, you know... Four homers, 53 RBIs, a 239 average, a 631 OPS. He was just really bad. He is good in the field, at least. <laughs> That's one thing he does well. But I don't really see him being the future of anything here. Anthony Rendon's going to age some and get even worse, but uh, he had a good year. He had a really good year. 837 OPS. Uh, as a career, he's over 1,500 hits, 225 home runs. I think this is a year Rendon would have if he's healthy. Um, maybe a little worse. I don't know. I still believe in Rendon, but I think a lot of fans have given up on him. Uh, no potential there either in the future. Um, Alex Parker, we've already went over his stats. C.J. Abrams only had 30 at bats in the MLB, but he got three... Or, uh, nine hits through it. Wait, no. I have to be wrong there. I don't know. 30 at bats, 10 hits. My bad. Nine. 10? 10 will be 30, 33. Nine. We'll go nine. <laughs> Am I wrong about that? I have to be. I don't know. Who cares? O'Neill Cruz. Why am I so torn up? It's nine. Nine. It's definitely nine. O'Neill Cruz did play with us in the MLB some. Uh, but he struggled up in his time in the MLB. Hopefully these two guys really develop new second baseman, new third baseman right there. Um, Earl Vera and Kyron Paris, I feel bad for these two guys. They're just never going to get an opportunity to play up in the big leagues. Anthony Alford, we need a new left fielder really badly. Uh, Alford, just a very mid-baseball player right now. Pretty good with the glove, only hits righties. Um, and then in center, I think we should place Lonnie White in left field. Lonnie had a good season, or a, not a great season, but 690 OPS. He's got a pretty good glove. Um, weaker arm. I think he's a guy with a decent amount of speed that you could put in left. He could hit in your everyday order in that 7-9 to nine spot. I think that's our go-to here. Chaz McCormick ended up playing a good bit with us. Uh, but I don't, I don't love this guy that much. I don't think he's it. Um, and then there's Mike Trout, who had a down year from last year, but still a really good year. And he ends up with a 948 OPS, a 286 average, 32 homers, 94 RBIs, 42 doubles this season. He was really good. He also stole 15 bags. He is coming up on 2,000 career hits. He'll get that in the next year, I'm sure. With 426 career home runs. Very impressive for Mike Trout. Um, and in a career OPS at 1,008. Out and right, we've got some potential here, but I just don't know how it's going to turn out. We've got four guys. First off, uh, Matthew Barefoot. I, I see it. He's got a decent bat. Better in the field. Uh, really good in the field, actually. Plays all three outfield positions. I see it with this guy. I think we should keep him. Jalen Davis, I don't see it with him. He's got a better bat than the rest, but he's already 29. He's not going to get much better than that. 
Joe Adele? I don't know. It's fast, mid-glove, good power against lefties, maybe. Could platoon up here with Matthew Barefoot. I don't know. Trey Cabbage? Not going to happen, dude. I'm sorry, Trey. I'm so sorry. It's just not going to happen for you. He also, for some reason, doesn't have one stat. <laughs> because that is gone on his... Let's see. And then Gareth Morgan. Hey, bud. I remember you back down in AA. Not much success from our guys this year. Um, let's look at the other guys, though, that I, our other creative players. Chance Davis, 13-8 with a 3-2-3 ERA and a playoff spot. That's the main thing. He really was good. He really was good this year. Uh, just a disappointment compared to his last couple of years. Uh, but he really, he he really is really good still. Cam Jackson, ninety nine overall catcher, with a lot of power against righties. Not as much against lefties, looks like. But uh, that's just how he developed. C minus eight. Um, he had a really good year. He only played one hundred thirty two games. Obviously, they're gonna sit catchers more. But he had thirty homers, sixty seven RBIs. 834 OPS, very similar to his last year. He stole 14 bags. This guy's best catcher in the game probably right now. And then we have Adam Turner, who's also in the playoffs. Every creative player except Cam is in the playoffs except Cam and Alex. Adam had a little bit of a down year, um, but not too bad. Pretty consistent. Another 23 home runs added to his tally. He's still another 38 bases, 270 average with an 804 OPS. All these guys are on contract years, by the way. I, w I didn't want to see them stay with their teams forever. So uh, we have them on three-year deals because they all got traded except Cam. I actually chanced in either, but he might have. So two of them got traded, so I put them on short contracts. 6.2 war for uh, Adam. Playoff bound. And then you've got Max Hamilton, who is, I think, maybe your Cy Young this year. He's 16-10 and 10 with a 2.57 ERA and 280 strikeouts and 234 innings pitched. He's insane. We know how good Max Hamilton is. He's going into his age 24 season. But that's really all I wanted to check. Oh, just by the way, <laughs> Alex Parker is your league MVP. Everybody around of applause for Alex. That's huge. His first, maybe he'll have more, I don't know. I've played a pretty long career once, about six or seven years, and I only won one, and it was around year two or three, so um, we'll see what happens. Fred came in second, Jordan in third. Let's do the NL first. Ronald Acuna is going to be your MVP over here, 140 RBIs. Acuna has turned into maybe baseball's best player. It's between Trout, Acuna, and... Uh, Parker at this point he is on track to be an absolute superstar he already is a superstar but uh, you know what I mean he is on track to be incredibly like accomplished as a player the Cy Young is another brave it goes to Ian Anderson she probably should have gone to Max but they'll give it to Ian Anderson uh, with a really good year he's only an, a 92 wow he's a 92 Max is a 91 Acuna also wins the batting title over Soto and Harper. Here's where they are at in their careers. Soto is still a monster. Um, and Bryce Harper is also still a monster. He got hurt last year. But this is a dude who has like the potential to be 600 home run club at one point, maybe. I don't know. He's definitely going to be 2,000 hits in the next couple of years. We'll see how it happens. Camilo Duvall is your reliever of the year. The rookie of the year is to Brett Beatty, the uh, prized Mets prospect. Chris Panigua comes in second. Michael Burr Baird comes in third. Uh, Cunha, Hank or Aaron Award winner. And here are your gold gloves and silver sluggers. Hey, our old friend Shohei Otani with a 16 and 12 of year. And adding him was a big reason they're in the playoffs. Now, if we still had him, we'd be in the playoffs. He's got 298 ERA, and he also hit a 968 OPS, 34 homers. Dang. Otani showing us up. Silver Sluggers.
There you go. And then for our side, Alex wins MVP. We know Max Hamilton does, in fact, win his second straight Cy Young. Corey Seager is going to win the batting title here with only a 308. Wow. He had quite a good year, though. Dang, Corey. He's roping the ball. Stop overestimating Burt Bregman. This dude is so overrated. <laughs> like, you think he's going to get back to this 31 home run hitting type of player? No, stop. Xander Bogarts comes in third. Our rel reliever of the year is Lou Trevino. Simber actually did come close. Um, he came in third. He just doesn't strike enough people out. Chris Berry, the uh, Astros starter, is the rookie of the year. 14 and 5. Really good year for him. Nova Marte comes in second. This dude's going to be a beast. KJ Harrison, not as much. Alex Parker wins your Hank Aaron Award for the first time in his career. Reynaldo Lopez. Ah, well, we'll just go through this. Cam did not end up winning this here. Christian Vasquez wins his third straight, maybe fourth. They only show the last three. And we have uh, no Alex at the shortstop. Not even top three this year. Dang. That's tough. Adam Turner, out in center, uh, takes hit home his first award. Love to see that. Cam Jackson wins his first Silver Slugger catcher. Good to see that. Alex Parker, of course, the Silver Slugger shortstop for the first time in his career. Mike Trout won a Silver Slugger outfield. All right, and that's really all I cared about looking at right now. Let's sim the postseason, see who wins. The Yankees beat the Braves. How about that? Wow. So, Oakland got swept by Chicago and Adam. Uh, what a run it was for them, but they blew it immediately. The Braves... Beat Milwaukee, beat the Dodgers, and then lost 4-2 to to the Yankees, who beat the White Sox in 7. They swept Tampa Bay. Wow. What a run by the Yanks. Let's look at that team. See how good they were. I mean, yeah, you got a decent rotation, a pretty good pin. This team's not that good. Gallo and Stanton, I'm sure, are great. Stanton is still hitting at a high pace. 454 career home runs for him. Joey Gallo, also another guy who's going to have a lot of home runs when he retires. Jason Dominguez is up in the MLB. He had a good year, and he, of course, is an incredible fielder, very fast. And then you've got Everson Pereira. He's really good. He's going to be really good in the future. And they have Nick Castellanos, who decided against Yankee tradition. He says, screw Yankee tradition. I'm going to keep my beard. I cannot believe the Braves lost that, though. Or look at the retired players here, I guess. Any huge names? Grayson Janista. That's not a huge name. I was kidding. I don't really... Didi Gregorius retires with the Pirates. Ends with over a 1,000 career hits. Pretty good career for him. Brandon Crawford went over to the Diamondbacks uh, to play in their farm, try to make it up there because the Giants wouldn't keep him, but he ends up retiring after this season as well. Oh, wow, one hit away from 1,500. That's tough. Um, Eric Hosmer retires. He had a long and prosperous career. Good for him. Um, Roberto Perez. Wow, nine years of service time? I don't remember him having that many years in the bigs. Maybe he just wasn't that good for a long time there. Matt Adams. Oh, I miss Matt Adams. Elvis Andrus will retire as well. Another 2,000 hit kind of guy. He's just one of the best shortstops Texas has ever seen. Chris Archer retires. Any big ones? Sack Britton. A really good reliever for a while. Unfortunate. Cole Calhoun 
retired. Cookie Carrasco, one of the best men we have. Aroldis Chapman. This dude's a Hall of Famer in my book. Although all that happened, I don't know, with him, I don't know, yeah. Maybe not. 1,000 strikeouts, 307 career saves. Ah, that's not good enough for the Hall of Fame in this. He's got to pitch some more years in real life if he wants that. You Darvish is going to retire. Wow. Good career for him. Josh Donaldson hangs him up. Corey Dickerson did too. Luis Garcia. Robbie Grossman. Brock Holt, the journeyman. Oh, no. He better be a Hall of Famer. Clayton Kershaw retires after 15 years in the league at age 37. Didn't quite make it to 3,000 strikeouts. Wow, that was that's tough. They really did my boy Clayton like that. And he had a good year in Texas. They just didn't want to throw him again, probably because he's 62 overall. Corey Kluber will retire as well. Former Cy Young. Indian slash Guardian great. Kenta Maeda. Chris Martin retires. Andrew McCutcheon. Ah, oh, I love this dude. Sorry, McCutch. Brad Miller. Not enough of a market for him. Mike Miner, former Brave Ranger. I mean, Royal anywhere. <laughs> you name it. Mike Miner probably played there. We're getting closer to the bottom. Tommy Pham. Miguel Rojas. Wow, was he that old? Carlos Santana. Nicely done. Andrelton Simmons, one of the best fielding shortstops we've ever seen. Made 12 errors in his last year, but we don't look at that. He is... Oh, dang. Maybe he just didn't have as good of a glove as I thought he did. He was insane. He did make a couple errors, but doesn't take away from his greatness. Justin Upton, one of those sneaky guys that you wouldn't think was that good, but the dude had 346 career home runs. Like, he had a really good career. And that'll end it. Hall of Fame, Clayton Kershaw. And I think a Chapman could have been, you could have had a case for him. But in this case, I think Clayton Kershaw is the only one who deserved the Hall of Fame inductee. Oh, man. Here's where Alex is on ratings, but, I mean, this is something we see every time. Uh, this has been pretty constant. Great fielder, good contact, pretty good power. Uh, and another change I did want to make um, was to the sliders. Our power's already down a tick. We're putting it down another one. I just feel like it would be better. I don't know. Just, like, he had 59 home runs this year, guys. Come on. We don't want that to happen again. We're in the offseason, seeing if the Angels make any moves. We better. Winter check in. Always bother me, this guy. Uh, makes sense. We're all good here in L.A. Uh, I, I'm... All as well life is good. We already have a contract for the next couple of years. Minnesota claimed Tristan McKenzie. Holy cow. We didn't sign... We didn't keep Tristan McKenzie... Oh, man. Houston took Matt Beatty as well. Well, let's look at what's going on. Lucas Giolito, still our pitcher. Okay. Patrick Sandoval, no center guard. Lost Yarbrough, picked up Paddock. Paddock's good. I like Paddock. That's a pretty good pickup. Jaime Berea <laughs> is going to be our fifth reliever for the time being. I think it'll end up being Reed Detmers. Detmers did improve a lot, which we really, really needed him to. At the age of 25, he's going to make his full like first season debut, whether it's long relief or starting. We needed him to improve, and he did. Thank you. Did we lose Yamamoto? Looks like we do. We've lost some guys, looks like. Pen-wise, we pick up Ryan Stanek. Oh, man, this is bad. We've got two guys above a 77. The rest are 68 and below. 
Jason Street. I don't know. Liam Hendricks. Oh no, our pen is so bad. Catcher is going to be Jorge Alfaro. Alan Hewitt is uh, the backup. Well, he's in single A for some reason. What in the world? Jorge Alfaro is in his 84, though. Jared Walsh holds his spot. David Fletcher holds his spot. Dad Gummit. Don't like David Fletcher. It looks like we've made no moves. Rendon just aged. I mean, we just got worse, man. Abrams and O'Neill Cruz got a lot better. We also didn't get rid of a shortstop and got Jacob Amaya. Okay. <laughs> Seems reasonable. Either way, we're obviously going to be playing shortstop for this team, and I believe O'Neill Cruz might start at third over Rendon some. And maybe Abrams over Fletch against the righties, hopefully. Please. David Dahl's our new left fielder. All right, we signed somebody. Anthony Alford stays. We still have Lonnie White. He got better. 76, but not much. Uh, Garrett Mitchell didn't really get much better. We still have Mike Trout, obviously. He's on a huge deal. He's got so many years left, which is good. And then we have Matthew Barefoot still. Joe Adele, by the way, we're going to give up hope on him now because he didn't get a bit better. Matthew Barefoot, a tad. Up to a 76. This team is very similar. It's just worse and older. I mean, we lost a lot of bullpen arms. We're the 7th ranked team right now. Let's go ahead and sim spring training. I do not care about spring training in the slightest. With the arrival of another spring, teams gather to and we'll do power. A brand new season. Oh, man. We're having a great spring. Really good. <laughs> Actually, like, incredible. 13, 4, 5, 6. Uh, uh, great spring for LA. Let's we'll see if we can carry it into the year. Get enough of a lead that we can't blow it. I guess we'll look at... Wow, Alex crushed the ball. Are you kidding me? Look at Alex Parker during spring training here. 29 games... A 436 average with nine home runs. A 1316 OPS. We got Tyler Naquin as well, who's going to try to make the roster. That's cool. I'm all right with that. And now we start our season. All right, we'll start it against Toronto and Max Hamilton. How about that? That's quite the way to start, and we're at home. Alrighty then. Let's see if all of our compadres stayed at their same locations. We see that Max did. Chance did. As well. They're still under team control for their first six years of service time. Max got a one year 4.4 million. Adam is still here. He got a one year 2.3 million. He's still a 99. He's still a 99. Cam is still a 99. Cam got a four year 1.2 million per year you got scammed cam and where's chance he got a wow it's a 2030 he got a six year four million per year and he took it wow this team got a lot better i can just tell sean murphy's a beast hoskins is a beast muncie's gotten better He's only 22, by the way. Where's... What's his face? I think he's shortstop. Logan Davidson. Matt Chapman's a 92 overall. Diego Noe Nieve. Wow. He pretty, he's gotten a lot better. Poisson's gotten better. Davidson's a 76 now. They've got another shortstop prospect down here. Austin Meadows was added to the team. This dude can rope the ball. Ramon Laureano... In sit like really good, and then they add Alex Verdugo. Verdugo, this A's team is in it to win it, and they're the sixth ranked team. This is a competitive division. You've got second, sixth, and seventh. Oh boy, oh boy, it's gonna be quite the year. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Alex Barker. Episode 102 in the books. Opening day 2025 will be next episode.
That's Alex Parker, episode 102, in the book.